You have to hold the button and then let go. Oh, got one. Oh. Daddy's got one. Look, honey, Daddy's got one. Whoa, it's a big one. It's a big one. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, fine, I'll take a cast. Got one. Oh, Tori's got one. Woohoo! It's a little one. Oh, okay. oh, it's not bad actually. It's not bad. I've never have I caught a grayling before? Yeah, first grayling. Okay, hold on, fishy. Here. Let me see it. Sorry, fishy. Hope I didn't hurt you. Nice, huh? Let me show you how to do this, bud. I know it. Okay, look, hold, back, let go. Watch, and then reel. Okay, buddy, reel, reel, reel. Bye. Reel. Huddy's got one. Reel in, reel in, other way. Reel. Go, Huddy, go, Huddy. Huddy's got one. Okay, no, keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling, round in circles, round in circles. Circles, circles. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Bring it to daddy. There you go, good job, bud. Hadi, hadi, hadi. You wanna hold it? Yeah, I'm just Okay, pinch, pinch it. it right there. Pinch it, really tight. Really tight, right in the mouth. Pinch its mouth. Really tight, okay. Touch it. Okay, you wanna let it go? Okay, bye bye, fish. Bye bye, fish. Bye. Whee! Can I catch one again? Okay. Oh, there's a big one. Oh no, I okay. okay, here, Huddy. Reel it in. Huddy's got another one. Hold tight. Reel, reel, reel. Huddy's got a big one, Tor. Woohoo! Circles, bud. Circles. Oh, it got off. Good try. Good, Good job, Huddy. So High five. You had one on, bud. What about you, Wes? How many fish did you catch, you know, cutie patooters? You're trying to catch them with your own bare hands. Dad, Dad, I want to uh, go catch more fish. Oh, I know you do, bud, but we will. We just got to go and catch them at the next spot. Okay, here we go. We're coming up to a rapid. Yeah, let's get right. It looks like shallow on the left. Uh, yeah, and then after this, there's one called Roaring Bull Rapids. Um, so we're gonna try to stay right here just to avoid some shallows, but it looks like there might Mom. be some tricky currents. Mom, I need, I need, Mommy, I, Daddy, I need a Ziploc bag. You need okay. a Ziploc bag? Okay. Another one. Okay, I'll give you this one. Do you, can we, should we pour out your sand and get one? Mm, Lots yeah. of space here, eh? Yeah. Mm -mm, no, I want another one. Okay, Huddy, you gotta sit, you gotta hold on tight. Look, okay. look what's coming. Looks easy, but an easy rapid when you have your kids in the boat feels like a lot scarier. Oh, Daddy, I want another Ziploc bag. Okay, we can talk Ziploc bag once we get down this rapid, buddy, okay? Okay, hold on tight, Huddy. That's what I call a fun rapid. Yeah. Big <laughs> was fun! Was that fun, honey? Yeah. Well, that's fun. Catching a fish as a family, running the he rapids. Was, he was Man, a waterfall coming. This is... He was a waterfall coming, Dad. This is an awesome day. A waterfall? Uh-oh. All right, we're coming into the bend just before Roaring Bull Rapids. Roaring Bull. <laughs> we're coming.
coming up to a rapid that's called Roaring Bull. Why don't you tell us how a Roaring Bull sounds? Ah! Roaring Bull Rapids coming up. Watch out! Oh, this is nice. That's it, honey. Was that it? Looks like that was it. That's not too raging, bull. It's more like a nursing calf. And more of a nursing. <laughs> Tori says it's more of a nursing calf than a raging bull. This is beautiful, eh? This is beautiful. Wesley, was that fun? We're gonna stop and grab a bite to eat, Hattie. You hungry? Mm -hmm. What do you call it? This skipping stone, seven foot. Okay, count. One, two, three, go! Not too many, like ten. Hattie, mommy made you a wrap. Mommy made you a wrap, and you're gonna eat that. And then one day it will become a craft. Because we're hanging wow. out for lunch and we're going to drink fruit punch. And everybody knows this is the hunch. Are you eating it? We're heading for O'Brien's Bar. It's not an Irish pub. It's a gravel bar, and um, there was actually an old gold mine there many, many years ago. So basically, we're gonna check out an old gold mine and camp near it. Hudson? Hudson? You're hiding behind the paddle, aren't you? How else would the paddle be just suspended there with a tuft of hair coming up from the top? Get ready or not, here I come. Oh man, he's hiding again. Where is he? Oh, I hear him laughing. Do you hear him laughing, Mama? I do. I hear him laughing. Wait a minute. There he is. He's behind the paddle. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I see you. Oh, here we come. Yeah. So I think this is it. I can't see him. Yeah. We made it. Yeah, but remember that's daddy's only cup. The bugs are pretty bad right now, so I'm just gonna spray Wes because he's just a sitting duck, aren't you, buddy? We'll just get all of his exposed skin. Sorry, buddy. Spray it on my hands. 
I'm gonna put it on his, around his face. There you go, buddy. Thank you. What do you think of the Udon noodles, huh? Delicious. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, Wesley, tonight's dinner is different. We switched it up on you. Just to keep you guessing. It is end of the day here on day four, and uh, oh, there's bats flying above, and Huddy was told that we have to be quiet so you don't scare the little bats. Sorry, Hudson. Anyway, so it's the end of the day on day four. I'm really exhausted. Um, we paddled 50 kilometers today in a decent amount of time. Uh, but we're staying up a little bit later, and Hudson's decided he didn't want to go to bed and joined us by the fire. There's some old pieces of garbage around, basically, from um, a gold mine, a uh, remote gold mining operation, small scale, very small scale, that used to be here. So might poke around tomorrow, see if we can check out any more of that. Um, tomorrow's also calling for heavy rain, like 90% chance of rain. And we made it a decent distance ahead, so we might just sit tight. We don't need to really push on like that. What's the point? So, anyways, I'm going to turn in. Um, really awesome day weather-wise. And uh, looking forward to what the rest of this adventure has in store. You can already see the kids benefiting from it so much. Oh yeah, there's a good eye rub. Okay. All right, I'll get him to bed. Hey, cheese! <laughs> cheese! Cheese! What's sweet? Cheese! What's sweet? What's sweet? Cheese! Very good, buddy. <laughs> good job, bud. Sounds pretty, sounds pretty tight. <laughs> All right, high five, bud. Yeah. Thanks for helping. Want to go get the food barrels now? I found it. Oh, cool! You found the food barrels. Is it too heavy for you? Can you carry it like this? Look, look, can you carry, can you carry, carry it like this? Okay. Here, let me help. Grab it with that hand, the other hand, and this hand, both hands. Hold it tight. Somebody with an axe? Yeah. Oh. Well, these stumps are using a seat. So I'll cut one of the smaller Thank ones. Okay. 
Wesley likes to play in the dirt, but then he gets dirt all over his face. Ah! And so mommy tries to put something there to block his hand. But he always manages to find the dirt. So clearly he wants to play in the dirt. Yeah, we're going to be toasty when this starts ripping. Alright, we're going to mix up some pancakes. Pan's already a little on an angle. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just start going. I'll find wow! It. Okay, buddy. Put it on your plate. Yum! Okay. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, sweetie pie. That's yeah, good. I got a pancake! Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Would you like some syrup on that? Mommy's making you a pancake. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's Daddy's pancake. Not in. How's that? Yes. Want Daddy to cut it up for you? Yep. You can soak all the pancake up inside. What do you think? Is that yummy? He's trying to take your pancake. He's hungry. Look at him, he's smiling about it now. Coffee yeah, going. Fire took a while to get going, and I was starting to worry maybe the wood I got was a little punky, but she's going good now. Throwing out some good warmth, and uh, we're we're doing good. Hudson and I went and did a, a little historical relic tour, and um, not really historical relics. It's like probably like 1960s or something like that. But uh, yeah, an old gold mine was here, and we found like an old engine, it looked potentially older than 60s. Uh, old metal sluices. Um, old tailings pump and I could tell it was an old tailings pump because it says tailings pump on it actually to the metal but it is very much uh you know goes on with the long Yukon gold mining heritage culture that exists here pretty good place to take a day off in the rain and we're happy that we chose to saw another couple canoes going by this morning they look soaking and miserable Tori whipped up some of her famous pancakes fried in butter and uh, we're just going to add our homemade maple syrup, which I'm sorry to all you French Canadians, but this is the best maple syrup I've ever tasted in my life. No, get away from mommy. No, get away from mommy. You think you have enough pancakes there? Mmm. 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 Mmm, honey. Oh my god. No, Why are these so maple good? syrup. Oh yeah, it's not honey. I mean, I'm calling Tori honey. Basically, what? rainy day. Mommy? We're just going to be chilling. Maybe do some fishing. Stay warm under the tarp. Have a few hot chocolates.
Okay, tell the camera what we're going to do. I can't see mommy on the car. No, because it's looking at you. Look at you. Hi. T can you tell the camera what we're going to do? Look. We're going to get historical relics. We're going to go look at the old gold mine and find some historical relics. Yes! Me and you already did. Look, this morning, are you going to show mommy what we found this morning, bud? What about me? Mm -hmm. And then maybe we, it's lunchtime when we get back, I'll catch, maybe we catch a couple of fish. There's me on the tree. Oh, good. Looks like where whatever came in here, maybe steamers, used to load and unload here. And all this gravel was put here to make a bit of a landing. Are those pedals? This way, come to daddy. No! I think I see an old cabin here. Let's go find some more. Well, is this an old cabin right here? Look. It's all broken down. It's very old. Look. Like some sort of pump house, eh, Tor? Like, did anyone actually live in here? A bunkhouse? Yeah. Or did they just, did they just operate... Like was it? Does that pipe go underground to over right, there? Yeah. Let's go. Let's yeah. Well, maybe this is where there was a fr uh, like a a boiler in here. Right. You have to say, "Honey, hey, honey." Oh, hey, hey honey. honey. You have to when we get to the dark or well Oh look, here's where they're excavating out of. So they're this is where they're taking the. Uh, they're excavating like all the Let's silt go. and all the, the gravel Let's go in there. and they're dumping that into the sluice. Okay. Let's go in there. Well, we should probably yeah, get that's these. It. This child is totally folded in half. <laughs> like a little panini. Uh, Wesley's not so into the historical relics. A little pike. Didn't know they're in here. That's uh, not even, not really a bad eater actually, so I think I'm gonna keep that for lunch. This is a Cold Seal Commercial Series Filet Knife. It's a six inch knife. It's made in German 4116 steel. Okay, so there's this, uh, you know, relatively small pike, but just within the range of an eater. Um, I cleaned it up boneless. The first fillet, actually, I, I didn't cut the Y bone out. I don't mind bones, so I cut it all into slices and then I squared it. So the thin part's got no bones, the top part's got bones. And then the second one is totally boneless and I cut all the Y bone out. You just, you lose a lot of meat when you cut the Y bone out, it takes a long time, but that's a good chunk of fish. It's always more than it looks like in one of these bags. I'm going to do a uh, Cajun fish crisp again. Yeah.
pinks are these? So these are the boneless? Um, let me look at it. Yeah, they look, this one, look at, yeah, that one might have a bone in it, but the other ones definitely don't. Super delicious. Good, good. The rain has really picked up, if you can't tell. Still cooking fish. Look at that. Fresh Yukon pike. That's good. Dad gets the pieces with the Y bone. North has found a little place right at the base of a spruce tree that doesn't get wet. I'm going to attempt to make pizza dough. Um, warming one cup of water. This is filtered water. Uh, I just have to warm it, not boiled. So I'll just pop it onto the fire to warm it up. Yeast? I think I need all three of these packages, if I'm going to be honest. I don't remember. Stir one a uh, package to quarter cup. So I mean I need four. All right. I'm going to prepare the flour. Yeast. Well, I think this is a sticky dough. And then it says to knead for 10 minutes. That seems like a long time. All right, I've been kneading for, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. But uh, it says to coat it in olive oil, which I did not bring. So I'm gonna coat it in butter. I mean, you know, olive oil, butter, same thing, right? And put it in a zippy lock with little to no air and let it expand. We'll do a time check and then we'll check it in an hour. <laughs> you gotta find Whoa, honey! Bring it in. Yeah. Good job, honey! Say cheese! Cheese! Say cheese, sis! Cheese! Cheese, sis! Honey, look at the camera, say cheese! Look. Cheese! Alright, high five! Yeah, honey, we got a picture of it! Here's the dough. Okay, so uh, this one is burnt a little bit. This stove might be a weensy bit broken. Anyways. Toppings on. Cheese. The stove isn't going as low as it needs to be, so it's kind of burning the dough, but if I make it thin enough, maybe it'll be okay. Hudson's pizza is ready. All right, get your plate. Got it. Hi, mommy. Hi, sweet angel boy. Mommy, can you watch my, my pizza? Pizza. Pizza. Pizza's ready, Dad. Might be a little bit burnt. It's by me a little bit burnt. That looks so good, huh? No, that's mine. Oh, that's mine. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm going to cut it up for you. Mommy, but yours is next. Oh, good. Say hooray. Hooray. Okay, honey, there you go. Thanks, Mom. I just hope the dough is cooked through. I don't want it.
I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, <laughs> I said. You don't want pizza? I'm good. Okay. How's that pizza, honey? What? Out of ten, what would you say? I'm going to end this time. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. I got some pepperoni pineapple pizza Tori made on the fry bake. Mommy, and it's Daddy, amazing. It Canned pineapple. It raining. Oh yeah, it stopped right, raining. Baby. Wow. Well, we switched it up and made a little coal bed because the stove does not get so low enough. So this one's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Well, I will make another one. Jim, he already ate one, but he got lots of dough left, so I'll just make another one while this cools. Mm. That's good. Well, it is the evening of day five. Today was a rain day or a day off. We didn't travel today and we were happy for it because it just hammered rain all day. It was windy. Mommy, Actually, it wasn't a... Daddy, get us out of this big tree today. Oh, okay. There. Oh, that's a good one. Thanks, bud. Okay, can Daddy finish his interview now? Get an interview for me. Get an interview from you? Uh -huh. Tell people what you did Turn today. Turn it to this way. No, oh, this way? Okay, here. Okay. Hi, so we are on the vessel. Yeah. And we went on the... Ah! And we went on the... On the dinosaur. What did you eat for lunch? Um, pizza. Pizza, and what did you? What else did you eat? I I I fish. And did you catch any fish today? Mm, yep. What kind? Um, pike. I caught a pike. Okay, so it is the end of day five of our trip. And uh, it was pretty good. It was a rainy day and we decided not to travel. And yeah, we just had a really nice family day, even though it was definitely uh, chilly this morning and not nice and, uh, and rainy all day. Good news though, tomorrow is supposed to be not so hot, but sunny all day and the following day too, before we get into rain. So we're gonna be able to travel a good distance tomorrow. So in the coming days, we're gonna actually be on the Yukon River. Um, and a large portion of this journey is gonna be on the Yukon River, which has a lot of amazing history to it. Um, we're gonna stop and probably camp at Hootalinqua. There's an old steamship. Steamers used to run up and down the Yukon River before there was roads. And um, so apparently there's an old one at Hootalinqua, an old graveyard and a few other things. It was a paddle wheeler stop on the Yukon River back in the day. So yeah, there's that and a few other really cool things. So I'm really looking forward to it and hoping we can uh, and hoping the current stays strong and we can keep making a good distance each day when we're paddling and that you know we have enough time to fish and stuff like that too so yeah uh, overall good day we're making great memories out here and um, can really see how great it is for wesley and how great it is for hudson too so that's what it's all about anyways nighty night and tomorrow's another day